New at 530, CATS is laying the foundation for three new public transit corridors, which would completely transform transportation in the Queen City. The goal is to have all three transit corridors finished by 2020. Will it actually happen, though? NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes spoke to CATS CEO John Lewis today. Rob, what did he say? When the 2030 transit system plan was first introduced, the idea was to build these corridors one at a time. But now, just 12 years from the deadline and three corridors to go, Katz says the plan is to build them simultaneously. If we continue to do one corridor at a time from some level of priority, 2030 will become 2050. Uh, and I think that's unacceptable. In 2016, Katz finalized plans for the Silver Line that will connect Matthews to Uptown. Right now, Katz is coming up with a plan for both the West and North corridors. The West corridor would connect Belmont to Uptown via light rail with a key stop at Charlotte Douglas Airport. So more on what you see on the blue line, we're recommending that for Wilkinson. As for the North corridor, the picture not as clear. The current preferred option isn't much of an option unless Norfolk Southern changes its stance. In their belief, freight rail and passenger rail aren't compatible. And that's a problem because there is only one existing rail line north to Lake Norman and it's owned by Norfolk Southern. Building a new rail isn't a great option either because it would be expensive and extremely disruptive to neighborhoods along the line. We will still continue our conversations with Norfolk Southern, but we just want to have a plan B and plan C just in case. The final question, where is the money coming from? Early estimates say the three corridors combined could cost six to eight billion dollars. The state of North Carolina, which paid for about 25 percent of the blue line, will now only contribute 10 percent. Katz is still waiting to hear back from the federal level, but public transit generally isn't a huge priority in Washington these days. So the majority of the funding for these new corridors could fall heavily on the local government. In Charlotte, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. We will see, Rob. Thank you.